please welcome Cleveland Clinic CEO and President and the holder of the Morton L. Mandel CEO Chair, Dr. Tom Mihaljevich. Good afternoon and welcome to Cleveland Clinic Manor Hospital. We are truly grateful to have you all here this evening, and we are very grateful for the support that we have received from many members of Cleveland Clinic community, members of our Board of Trustees, members of our Board of Directors. We have our, here our Chair of Board of Directors, Beth Mooney. And many thanks to many, many members of Menor community who have been really, really supportive in our effort to bring Cleveland Clinic Care to Menor. We believe it is our ethical responsibility to extend Cleveland Clinic quality and expertise to as many patients as possible, because we believe that every life can benefit from the type of care that we provide. And that is really the only reason why we grow. At Cleveland Clinic, we define our success by the number of lives we touch. As we open Cleveland Clinic Manor Hospital, we are expanding access to our unique model of care to more patients than ever. This beautiful hospital will allow us to provide a broader range and access to, of services to Lake and Geauga County residents in addition to our existing eight medical facilities in Lake County. As a distinctive and truly a state-of-the-art facility, Manor Hospital represents Cleveland Clinic's vision for healthcare in the 21st century. Not only will we deliver the best of Cleveland Clinic has to offer to the community, we are also going to seamlessly connect the community with the entirety of Cleveland Clinic healthcare system. Our vision for Cleveland Clinic is to be the best place to receive care and the best place to work in healthcare anywhere in the world. This means delivering the safest healthcare of the highest quality as a lifelong partner to our patients. Wherever we're located, we operate as one Cleveland Clinic, delivering the same high quality care and experience of care at every location. Because Cleveland Clinic is not just a name on the building. Cleveland Clinic is much more. It's a promise that everything that happens within this building is going to be a true Cleveland Clinic care. I would like to thank everyone who has helped us make today's celebration possible, including United States Senators Sherrod Brown and J.D. Vance and our Congressman David Joyce. Now, let's watch a short video that describes what Manor Hospital means to the community and to our caregivers and why we're here to stay. Every large city hopes that it can provide health care services that meet the needs of the community. Cleveland Clinic has been a great partner from the beginning of this project and their focus has been singular in getting this hospital open. It's a win for our community, it's a win for our fire department. It's an important resource. It affects patient care, how fast they're getting to our patients and our residents. The new hospital is opening literally down the street from us. It's a relief and I'm really excited to see that open up and be part of this community. A mentor hospital is exciting because it brings an innovative care model, not only in how the design was built, but also how it's gonna deliver care. We were able to look at the community needs, making sure those needs are met. It made total sense to build a facility where we could provide in-hospital care, surgical care, emergency room care, and build on the outpatient care that we are already providing. The design of the hospital is meant to be state of the art, and we have really put a lot of thought into that as far as how do we build a hospital so that we're using it most efficiently for the space that we do have. The building actually has more clinical care capability per square foot than any hospital that we've ever had in our system. Manor Hospital is gonna have 34 inpatient rooms. 
a full service emergency department, four operating rooms, and it's going to have an outpatient facility. There's something very special about the design of the building and as you walk in and the natural light and the way it's woven in, it almost feels park-like. Being built on a slant on the hill, having the natural light even in the lower level is always a very big plus. It's going to be a very welcoming healing environment for our patients. The way the building's constructed, everything is very keen towards energy conservation. We have the absolute cutting edge technology when it comes to telehealth embedded in to Mentor Hospital. Even though we're going to have a lot of technology there, we're still going to have that personal touch. If you're walking into Mentor or any other hospital within the Cleveland Clinic system, it will still have that feel of the same culture and the same mission and values. I'm excited to be able to bring the patient-centered care to Mentor. We all want to be there and make it a better community hospital for the people we serve. You're going to come to a facility that's going to treat you with respect and you're going to be valued. It's a privilege to be able to provide that to the community, my neighbors, your neighbors, our friends. It's just really exciting to see something come to life and something that really had patients at the center of the design and we just can't wait to have that first patient come through the doors and experience it. So I hope that you can sense the excitement that our caregivers and the members of the community have about the opening of this beautiful facility. And we truly look forward for, to serving you for many, many years to come. Now I would like to introduce President of the Cleveland Clinic Ohio Hospitals and Family Health Centers, Dr. Don Malone. Don. Thank you, Tom. Welcome to Cleveland Clinic Mentor Hospital. When we started thinking about building a hospital in Mentor years ago, we did a lot of work to evaluate the healthcare needs of the residents in Lake and Geauga counties. After we gathered that information, we determined that Mentor Hospital needed to be the right size for the community, it needed to make care more convenient for the community, it needed to enhance healthcare by providing a broader scope of services beyond those that will continue to be provided at our eight different facilities in Lake and Geauga counties. And Mentor Hospital needs to connect this region to the rest of the Cleveland Clinic Health System. I really believe we've been successful in building a hospital that will deliver on these commitments. Mentor Hospital will be managed by Hillcrest Hospital, allowing for seamless access and staffing between facilities. And we're pleased to have Dr. Rick Parker providing leadership for both of these hospitals. Before I turn the podium over to Dr. Parker, a special thank you goes out to Dr. Alice Kim, who worked tirelessly with the Hillcrest team to make Mentor Hospital a reality. I would also like to thank the many local mayors and city leaders in attendance tonight. There are many government officials who supported this project. Mentor City Manager Ken Filipiak, the members of Mentor City Council, and Lake County Commissioners have all been tremendous partners. I also want to thank State Representative Jamie Callender and State Senator Jerry Serino for their support. And thank you to Congressman David Joyce, who helped secure federal funding for a program that will provide comprehensive care in Mentor Hospital's emergency department for victims of sexual assault. To see Mentor Hospital finally come to fruition, I can say, it's exactly what we planned for it to be. And it was worth the wait. And with that, I would like to introduce the president of Hillcrest and Mentor Hospitals, Dr. Rick Parker. Thank you. Thank you, Don. And uh, I agree, this is incredible. And I never thought this day would come, but here we are. So I also would like to welcome you to Mentor Hospital which is not only the city of Mentor's first hospital, but the Cleveland Clinic's first hospital in Lake County. It is also, it is also the first hospital we have built in Northeast Ohio since Avon Hospital was opened and in 2016. 
and it truly is a hospital of the future. The reason I say that this is uh, Mentor Hospital's design, which is incredibly versatile. It provides the space that we need now. It is right-sized, as Dr. Malone said, and it is designed to allow us to grow to meet the community's needs that are changing year over year. We are confident that it will serve patients here for generations to come. Now, I really want to tell you a little bit about the most important part of this hospital, its caregivers. Manor Hospital is brand new, but the caregivers running the hospital are an experienced team. Many of the caregivers who join the Mentor Hospital team have cared for patients for years here at the Cleveland Clinic at other locations. We also have experienced caregivers from other health systems who have joined Mentor Hospital and were trained at Hillcrest and throughout the region to take on their roles here. We've done a robust cultural onboarding so they understand the Cleveland Clinic way. For some of them, they will be able to provide the care that they want to members of their own community because they live here. You will recognize many of the physicians here at Mentor Hospital because these are physicians from Hillcrest Hospital and our other locations will be here to provide services for you. When patients schedule with one of these providers, they can stay at their current location in the health system or be seen at Manor Hospital because we do have outpatient space here. Their focus here will be on outpatient services including cardiology, bariatric surgery, colorectal surgery, general surgery, urology, vascular surgery, and pulmonary medicine. We will provide orthopedics and sports medicine as well, and that's not because that's my specialty. These are services that expand on what Cleveland Clinic can offer to this community. Our inpatient care consists of primary care, orthopedics, and general surgery. We'll have an on-site lab and imaging services. I'm pleased to share with you that we are on time and on budget for the completion of this hospital. And we accomplished that in spite of starting construction during a pandemic. There are many people who helped make this happen. I'd like to thank in particular, Dr. Alice Kim, Nick Anstein, Chris Corpheus, Dave Berlecamp, and Whiting Turner Construction, John Butler. You have helped ensure that Mentor Hospital is ready to go for our first patients on July 11th, which is just three weeks away. We can't wait to see our first patients here and welcome them to our new hospital. Thank you to everyone who continues to work to get us to our opening day. We have enjoyed serving Mentor in Lake County and Geauga County for many years and look forward to being an even more integral part of the community. Another reason we are on time and on, on this project is the support from Mentor City leadership. And it's my pleasure to introduce Mentor, Mentor City Manager Ken Filipiak. Thank you, Dr. Parker. The first priority of public service is to care for the people we represent. We want the best police officers to arrive when our safety is threatened. We want the best firefighters and paramedics on the scene in times of emergency. And we want the very best medical services available when those we care most about need it. Today, with the opening of the Mentor Hospital, we are able to provide that level of care for the residents of Mentor and Lake County. This day marks a historic moment in our 60 years as a city. This beautiful facility is the first hospital in our community, and like all endeavors the Cleveland Clinic takes on, it will meet the highest standards for technology, adaptability, and advanced patient care to those it serves. In addition to the millions of dollars of investment, it will provide hundreds of direct job opportunities and support many hundreds more for the businesses, large and small, who will provide goods and services to the hospital and those working here. The Mentor Hospital is now part of the world's only global health care system, connecting now 23 hospitals, 275 outpatient facilities, 
and 77,000 caregivers over three continents. We are very pleased with the relationship we are building with the Cleveland Clinic, which has been overwhelmingly positive from the very beginning. To Dr. Mahaljevic, Dr. Malone, and the Cleveland Clinic Board of Directors, we appreciate the investment uh, that you have made here, and I have no doubt it will be successful. I am confident that the people of Mentor will reward that investment by welcoming you with open arms as they entrust you with their well-being. To Dr. Parker, we wish you Godspeed and all the patience required as you begin operations here. The Cleveland Clinic states very plainly that its guiding principle is to treat patients and fellow caregivers as family and to treat the Cleveland Clinic as your home. We are proud today to make the city of Mentor a part of that family, and we hope that you will now think of Mentor as a place to call home. So from one family to another, welcome to Mentor. It's now my pleasure to introduce to you uh, the president of Mentor City Council, Mr. Matt Donovan. Okay, what a wonderful thing. I just want you all to know I grew up down the street. I moved here when I was three years old. We used to run around in these fields, and this is a very, very exciting day for me, my family. Uh, I told my story a little bit uh, that the Cleveland Clinic has uh, saved the lives of a lot of people in my family. Livers, heart, heart disease, open heart surgeries, cancer. The Cleveland Clinic has saved my brothers and sisters and my father's lives. I love the Cleveland Clinic. I want to introduce my, uh, my colleagues here on Mentor City Council. If you hang around long enough, you become a councilman. That's what happens, so. <laughs> uh, I have uh, my vice president, Scott Marn here. Give him a wave, Scott. Scott's here. <laughs> Sean Blake's here, Ward 1. John Krieger, is John Krieger here? John Krieger is not here tonight. Mark Freeman, Ward 3, is right there. <laughs> Ray Kirshner is not here tonight. And at large, Janet Dowling is here in her beautiful turquoise shirt. <laughs> you know, uh, the Cleveland Clinic, I'm going to get out a little personal. Uh, I'm a retired plumber. I got in the uh, Plumbers Union at 18 years old and retired at 55, and the trades have been very good to me. Um, the Cleveland Clinic signed a project labor agreement, and that's why this job came in with my fellow uh, tradesmen on time and on budget. I came through this job a lot and watched them work. If you go through this hospital, if you haven't toured it yet, the work is absolutely incredible. And like Dr. Parker said, the technology is, is tops uh, of all the hospitals. Um, Menor has a uh, resolution for Dr. Parker, Dr. Mahalovic, and Ken Filipiak, if you could come up here. I'd like to read it. And I also, I miss somebody. I want to introduce our uh, county commissioner. Um, Richard Regovich is here. I don't know where Richard went. Uh, John Plechnik and um, John Hammercheck are also our commissioners who every, everyone uh, said, wow, you actually talked to your commissioners. Yeah, we, Mentor City Council, we talked to our commissioners. But we have a resolution of appreciation and gratitude. I mean, I'm going to read it. Well, there you go. Whereas the Cleveland Clinic is a world-class hospital system that has exceeded in meeting the needs of Northeast Ohio for over 100 years. The Cleveland Clinic has established itself as one of the leading hospital systems in the world, and we all know that. Providing life-preserving care to its patients, advancing medical research in multiple fields, and educating, educating generations of caregivers. The Cleveland Clinic has consistently been recognized as one of America's and the world's best hospitals, continually establishing itself as the world number one in cardiology and heart surgery, and we know that personally in our family. Their network of 22 hospitals and 275 outpatient locations will realize 14 million patients and counters worldwide. The commitment of the Cleveland Clinic to treating patients as family reflects the highest ethical standards of any hospital system. The clinic has chosen to construct its 22nd hospital in the city of Menor, making it part of its global network. Whereas, it is fitting to thank the Cleveland Clinic 
for being the first hospital in our city. Thank you so much. And we're going to get a picture. We're going to get a picture together. Thank you. Thank you for listening to me. I love it here. Thank you. Thank you for bringing the clinic. Thank you, uh, Ken and Matt. Matthew, we'll find a, a nice place for this here at the hospital. Uh, we really appreciate your support and the proclamation. We're honored to be celebrating this uh, occasion with all of you. Following the program, you will have the opportunity to tour the hospital and hear from several experts on, along the way. Now I would like to invite Tom, Don, Kenneth, Matthew, Bill Peacock, Chris Bennett, Alice Kim, Aaron Hamilton, Sue Behrens, and Vicki Snyder to join us on stage for the ceremonial um, ribbon cutting. Yeah, we all have names, yeah, I will. All right, everybody. If you can open your scissors, and then on the count of three, we will open this hospital. One, two, three.